Us Kiwis love our backyards, so I'm going to show you how you can get the most out of yours and create an extra outdoor living space just by putting up a shade sail. It's dead easy and doesn't cost you much. Now there's a couple of different shapes and sizes available. What I'm going to use is the 3x5 in the charcoal colour. There's also a variety of different attachments, but don't worry about that, we'll cover that when I'm actually installing that. For this house, we're going to attach a rectangle shade sail. So what we need to do is attach two fixing points to the house and then concrete in two timber posts at the end of the deck and attach the fixing points. After that, we simply attach the shade sail to these fixing points and tighten to fit. Now I've decided to centre my shade sail off the house itself. So I'm going to mark out the centre of the house on the fascia. Now the centre of my house is 4170. Let's put a little pencil mark there. Cool. Now just to help me out, I'm just going to put a little tack in here just to hook my tape on. My shade sail is 5 metres wide, so I'm going to come across half of that which is 2.5. Now that's the end of my shade sail. Now I need to allow 10%, which is going to be used for tensioning it later on. So 10% onto 5 metres, that's 500 mil. I've come half that, so half of 500 is 250 mil. So let's put 250 mil on there. Okay, so this is ideally where my first fixing point should be. Now, ideally, I want to fix straight into our rafter and behind, so I'm just going to have a look around to see where if I can see that. If you want to have a look for some nails underneath into your feet, it might be a clue. If you don't have any nails, you might just want to have a tap, see what you can find. Now, I can hear that there is a, a rafter right there. So that's about six or eight inches away from our first mark, so that's fine. I can move my mark over a little bit because our 250 millimetres is only a minimum. So we can go further as much as we like. Now if I didn't have a rafter to fix into, I'd have to climb inside the roof space and attach a bracket from my rafter to my fascia. Then put my pad eye attached to my fascia. Now thankfully I do have a rafter to fix to, so all I need to do is drill a hole and then fix our hooks onto that. Okay, now just repeat the process down the other end. Rightio, I've just marked my hole. Time to get stuck in and do some hard work and dig it. And just remember, before you dig, always remember to check with your local authorities where your pipes and wires are. You certainly don't want to hit anything you shouldn't. I'm using this post hole digger, which will make the job a lot easier, but you can just use a spade if you like. Now my hole is dug, I'm putting scoria on the bottom so my post doesn't sit on the dirt. Now, just pack it down, ready for the post. Next, place your post into the hole and plumb it up. There are a number of different posts you can use. For this house we're using an H5 glue laminated post and we're working with firm ground which is why we laid 100mm of scoria before concreting the post in. You can also use galvanised steel posts like these. And if you're working with soft ground, you'll need 100mm of concrete and 100mm of scoria before concreting the posts in. The depth you'll need to dig your post will vary with the size of your shade sail. Ours is the 5 metre sail, so we're going down to 1.2 metres. For the 3 metre shade sail, you need to go down to a depth of 800mm. OK, now that my post is in, I've attached it to the deck at the stage. If you didn't have a deck to attach to, you'd need to lean the post away from the shade sail by about five degrees to give additional support. But I've decided to put this in plumb because I've got a couple of good solid fixing points onto my deck. Now concrete your posts in place, making sure you get a good surface contact area. You can always use a spade to mix it up. Rightio, that's looking pretty good. Now I just need to do exactly the same for the other side, then I'm going to leave them to dry for at least 24 hours. Okay, my post is all set, that's all nice and secure. One thing I do want to do now is attach a bracket from my post to my deck, that's going to ensure this is going to stay rock solid. Rightio, here's a little tip for you. When you're drilling a hole using a coach screw, 
you actually want to choose a drill bit that's a couple of mils smaller than the shank size of your coach screw. Okay, I've attached my hooks to the house and I've got a height of 2.9 meters from my deck to the center of my hooks. So I'm gonna mark on my post here 2.9 meters off my deck. Okay, from our 2.9 mark, I'm just gonna go up about 125 mil to allow me a little bit more on the top of my post. My posts are 125 mil square, so I think that'll look good coming up 125. And I'm gonna just rule that square across the back. I'm just gonna put a slight angle on the side of the post. That's gonna allow for any water to run off. We've got a pretty big post there. But now we'll just square across the front and link the two marks up on this side also. So I'm now ready to cut my post off. I'm just gonna use my block plane and just take off all these sharp edges. Give it a light arras. That's looking pretty good. Next thing I need to do is gonna centralize my 2.9 mark on the post. Okay, all I need to do now is drill a hole in the center there to take my eye bolt. Rightio, now I'm just gonna repeat the same process for the other side. Okay, I'm just about ready to install my shade sail. Now, there's a few different attachments that I need in order to make this happen. First, I've got a few lengths of chain, I've got some S hooks, D shackles, and these special little puppies here, our turnbuckles. Now, for each shade sail, we need a minimum of two turnbuckles. On this unit here, I'm actually gonna put four in to make sure it's nice and tight. I'm now going to attach our chain and repeat the process all round. Now I'm using these chains for extra length. As the size of my deck means, my shade sail doesn't reach these fixing points. Every situation is different, so head down to Mitre Tent if you need help sizing it up. Now I've just hooked the chain on around about 150mm away from the edge of the house and I've cut my chain probably about two to three hundred mil longer. That just gives me a little bit extra to play with. Now all I'm gonna do is attach all four points and then come back and adjust our turnbuckle so we get a nice tension on the chain. Okay, all my four points are attached. Now I've got these fabulous little turnbuckles here. I've got about a hundred mil of travel on each corner. So that's gonna get this nice and tight. But you know what, if you find that you've linked this on the chain a little bit too far down, you can always unhook your turnbuckle and slide it up further up the chain, giving you a lot more tension. Go around and tighten each turnbuckle a little at a time so the tension is even. To keep your shade sail nice and new, just take it down and give it a clean with a mild detergent solution and a soft brush. Leave it for 10 minutes, gently hose it off and you're done. And there it is, we've just made an extra outdoor living space as well as creating an area that'll protect you from the sun simply by putting up a shade sail.